All right, well, I just wanted to show you something very funny. So uh, it's obvious that Joe Biden has dementia. I mean, there's just no telling that he has dementia, that he's developing it, and that it's getting worse and worse and worse as the years go on. But here are just some two funny clips that just show the extent of his mental cognitive decline. Here is a clip. So apparently, it seems that Joe Biden thinks he's 210 years old. I'm not joking. Here's a clip of him saying that he got to the Senate 180 years ago. That would be in 1842. Okay, keep in mind, Joe Biden was born in 1942. So that's 100 years before he was born. But in order for him to have been in the Senate in 1842, he would have to be at least a young adult, like 20s, 30s. So if he was in the Senate at that time, he would be 210 years old today because he would have been born in at least 1812. So apparently Joe Biden thinks he's over 200 years old. Okay, let's, let's watch it for yourself. You can't make this stuff up. That's why I made it a priority my entire career to work closely with you. From the time I got to the Senate 180 years ago, 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 <laughs> you know, as well as my tenure as vice president. Now, if you thought that was just one example or that that was bad, here's another clip of Joe Biden this time saying he joined the Senate 120 years ago. So. According to him, he was also in the Senate in 1901, because that was how long, that was 120 years ago to when he made that statement. So just, I mean, just watch it for yourself. I really have no words. Just watch it for yourself. You just can't make this stuff up, but it's all right there. Check it out. With regard to the filibuster, I believe we should go back to a position of the filibuster that existed just when I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. When I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. When I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. When I came to the United States Senate 120 years ago. Yeah, you know, I remember when uh, uh, the mayor of Toronto here in Canada, Rob Ford, was, you know, doing his uh, crack and smoking those drugs and all, all that stuff. You know, he became the, the subject of late night comedy. Well, Joe Biden, I mean... Joe Biden, he's a laughing stock to all, of, you know, to North Korea, China, Russia, Iran, all of them that are perceived as America's enemies. He's become like a, a laughing. I mean, the, the Saudi Arabian uh, TV stations did a skit just mocking Joe Biden's failure to actually just do basic skills. It's it's really ridiculous how and it's also funny, too, just the fact that he's just become this total laughing stock. And keep in mind, too, by the way, I mean, it is funny when you really think about it, but it's also scary, too, considering the fact that this is the guy who holds the nuke launch codes. Just, just keep that in mind. A guy who, who forgets that he, he was born in 1942, a guy who apparently thinks he's 210 years old, a guy who has to actually be uh, escorted by the Easter Bunny because he got he lost or confused during some Easter event. This is the guy who holds the nuke launch codes in, in the American government. Just keep that in mind. Um, all you people who voted for Biden, this is what, hey, you, you got what you wanted, but there are some strings attached. So... Anyway, I wanted to point that out. And also, I'll, I'll leave this in the description, this article about symptoms of dementia. And one of the symptoms is, for example, short-term memory changes and also memory loss, especially in the, in the short-term uh, areas. And Joe Biden is clearly experiencing that. I mean, if you, I mean, seriously, he forgets when he even joined the Senate. He thinks he's, he was in the Senate 180 years ago in 1842 and then in 1901. It, it's really sad when you think about it and scary that, again, this guy holds the new launch codes, but that's just the reality. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.